you up a little bit. Ooh, balancing you on the coffee espresso machine is probably not the best idea. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Welcome to another vlog. Um, I have come away again, another travel vlog, but probably in a different sense to what um, my other travel vlogs this year have looked like. I've just noticed there's a giant smear on the camera. But I wanted to start the vlog now because if I don't start it now I might forget to start it because I feel this weekend is going to be very busy indeed and I'm just going to capture as and when what I remember to capture throughout the weekend. I'm here in Auckland and I'm here for a wedding this weekend. It is our family, friends, wedding. Um, yes, we are going as the bride's guests. And yes, it's a whole family occasion. Uh, my sister is a bridesmaid at this wedding. Um, my mum, my dad, myself have all been invited as guests as well. And we're going along to the wedding tomorrow. Um, now it is Friday afternoon as I'm filming this. And yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to film over the weekend wedding wise just because it obviously is our family friends occasion and it is their weekend to be celebrating so i'll just capture everything probably around the wedding um i did want to do like a get ready with me show you the room i'm in i guess um show you the outfit i'm wearing and maybe anything else that pops up pops up along the way um I, well before i started this clip i've just actually realized how long my hair is at the moment i did actually give myself a little bit of a trim just before I came just to get some of those split ends away um but I hardly ever wear my hair down I mean if you know me in real life you'll probably always see me notoriously with a bun on top of my head I feel it's just it's just a go-to swimmer look it's just so much easier especially when I have very curly hair just plop up the top uh, pop it plop up the hair on top of my head and away you go but obviously I wanted to sort out my hair for the for the weekend um, so it is all ready to go dyed trimmed somewhat sorted out so yeah I haven't had a trim in a while so I quickly got to it yesterday does anyone else trim, trim their own split ends off I do because um, one I don't cut my hair that often two I like the length three i wear my bun on my head and four to the pay the amount of money it would cost us to split off my trim to, to pay the amount of money it costs to go to the hairdressers just to split off my split ends um i'm not sure it's worth it i'm gonna do a room tour now the reason i've chosen this place is more practicality due to location of the accommodation in proximity to the uh reception the reception and the reception and the ceremony i was trying to think of the right words reception and the ceremony are not in the same place they are in two different locations but this is the proximity apartments funnily enough talking about the word proximity so yes probably nothing too flash but just more for ease of getting to where we need to go so we have we have fridge kitchenette city sitting seating area uh, shoes i probably should not have them on the table or should, i've just literally just got in got in the door um and then couch <laughs> freezer bag i just took took my milk out of um i'll show you the <laughs> the view in a second i'm spinning around to my room oh have you seen my country row bag oh it's honestly i don't think i've shown this in a vlog it's like honestly my pride and joy of the moment and i managed to it is a re it's a recent purchase as in this was available back in may so i got this for my birthday my favorite color is orange i love this a lot it pleases my soul and um comes with a detachable strap which is really good because even though this strap is really great have i shown this i don't know even though the strap is really great it um, probably it doesn't suit every single occasion so I'll be wearing this bag to the wedding but I'll show you the detachable strap at another point in time you can get so many detachable straps online and I managed to get a nice little gold one for about 20 bucks and it looks I think it looks great on there um, right my Ray-Bans that I've had for forever and a day they are pretty battered up so we don't need to look at those um, this is the me this is me this is the wardrobe um i bought two pairs of heels i'm going to wear the nude ones but in case knowing my like something breaks I bought a spare pair um this is what i'm going to wear to the wedding um yes i i've had this for 
actually since I remember I purchased this in the first year of uni down in Palmerston North and I have had it since then. It's open back at the back. I feel it's just perfect wedding attire. It's a winter wedding so I've got my coat ready to go as well. That coat will go nicely with the nude shoes. They are, as I said, backup shoes just in case. This is a backup dress just in case as well. I've had this for quite a while also. I wore that to my sister's. I've actually worn this heaps and heaps of times just because I love love me some orange but I wore that to my sister's graduation um, when she graduated with her degree. Um, yes, yeah, loving, loving that. This is through here. Bending area from another angle and bathroom. Gosh, oh, that's, that is not the right switch. Hold on. Oh, what does that red button do? God, I better not press that. Jeez, I might call it an emergency. Emergency. Right, small bathroom just to, just for practical use. Really, showering, toilet, a few of these. Do you think you can take these with you? God, if you can take these with you, they're flipping chocolate block items. Right, so, there's your miniature tour. Why do I always appear so red in these boxes? Oh, I was going to show you the view, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Out here to the balcony, and you get a nice view of the Westfield Shopping Centre looking over there. It is a stunning day, it's a really, really nice afternoon. Right, so that is that is the introduction to the vlog. I will probably check in with you tomorrow when I'm getting ready for the wedding. And tomorrow I also have a skincare, skincare, skin product chat to insert into the vlog. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Ooh, keeping you on your toes. So nice coming in from there because it is actually too bright. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the next day. Um, I am just about to begin the process of getting ready. It is wedding day. I'm speaking as if it's my wedding day. It's 100% not. Um, but no, yay, it is wedding day. And yeah, I'm about to get ready. I'm about to go hard with the face masks and um, just generally getting ready, mainly sorting out my hair because it takes a whole, it takes quite a bit of time to wash, dry, style the hair. So. I'm so excited for today. I'm so excited that weather is absolutely stunning. Couldn't be asking for a better day, especially a winter's day for a winter wedding. Oh, talking of skincare, I'm going to start the process of getting ready. I'm going to insert a segment that I said I'd filmed uh, yesterday. Insert a segment I filmed before I came away, talking about all my favourite skincare products, things I'm currently using, so, you know, morning, evening routine, a few extra products that I use once a week. I am a self-confessed skincare junkie um so if skincare is your thing and you want to know more about that then you can go ahead and watch ahead um if it's not i'll put a timestamp on the screen for where you can fast forward to we'll try this angle so i just wanted to do a segment on skincare and i am a self-confessed skincare junkie i feel that is possibly a thing i'm just going to grab a book that i'm going to recommend this. i thought it might be nice to add this segment to the vlog with the get ready with me my mini trip to auckland getting ready for the wedding and just showing you some skincare products that i really really enjoy and really love i feel it can be quite intimidating these days when you're going into a store or you're trying to look online for new skincare products and then you buy something you don't really need it you don't really know how to use it within your skincare routine and um and then there's nothing worse than being stuck with an item that you can't use you don't use or it just doesn't work for you if you want to know a lot about skincare i would highly recommend this book um, by carolyn hirons the new edit skincare i just got it from wickles you can probably get it online as well um if you are an astute youtuber you will recognize this lady's face she is the skincare guru of youtube i feel you'll know that if you like old school youtube right let's get into some of these products now obviously skincare is super super personal so take a lot of this with a pinch of salt what might work for me might not work for you but if you find something that is useful for you from the selection of items then go for gold morning evening i wash my face this is a brand new item, hence why it's in this paper bag. My go-to cleanser that I use all the time is this item. It is a charcoal face wash. Uh, this will last me ages. I normally cut it into four. I pop it in a reusable tub. Um, I just use a little bit 
all over my face this will last me eight months this whole bar will last me eight months just rub it all over my face cleanse it layer it up wash it off it's a charcoal face wash so it's really good for getting into the pores a really fantastic deep clean and also charcoal is great for killing heaps of bacteria this one is from lush and i'll link everything that i mentioned down below but if you are not wanting the lush one because this is slightly more pricey but then i guess it depends how you work it out cost per item works out quite reasonable especially when this lasts me eight months you can also get the sukin charcoal cleanser as well it comes in a similar bottle to this moisturizer but it's the charcoal cleanser version so after i have cleansed my face in the mornings this is my morning routine i will then go in with some hyaluronic acid love me some hyaluronic acid i feel it's become such a buzzword around the place though but for very good reason i have used hyaluronic acid for years and years and years working in the chlorine environment where my skin is probably stripped every day of <laughs> every kind of moisture that my skin needs hyaluronic acid is your best friend if you get anything from these things that i recommend today hyaluronic acid is the one you want to get you probably can't see that but that is the ordinary the ordinary brand they sell this at farmers i feel the ordinary the brand the ordinary is quite an intimidating brand because you're going to the store and you'll know what i mean if you've seen the shelves full of ordinary products it is full of just white packaging and then with this like black text and you have to go through and read every single box to know the difference between each product because they all look the same as you are looking at them from afar so it makes it quite intimidating for me anyway um to not want to use the brand but i do i do like the brand this keeps the skin hydrated it keeps it plump keeps it tight keeps it firm everything you want this hydration product to be doing for your skin it does for you it gives it reasonable stretch and it keeps your skin did i say nice and firm yeah nice and nice and firm so this, this this shine that's happening right now a good sense of shine and plumpness this is hydration from the hyaluronic acid you do have to i found use it with a bit of water so either straight immediately after washing your face you want to put your hyaluronic acid on if not like me keep a little spray bottle of water next to your hyaluronic acid spray it on then put this on your face it will allow the absorption of the hyaluronic acid to go into your skin that much better after i've let the hyaluronic acid dry i then go in with a moisturizer there is no rhyme and reason to this moisturizer why i use this one it just works nicely for me i feel i've got a good system with my skincare now and i don't want to be changing or swapping out too much this isn't that expensive it lasts me about maybe three or four months maybe a little bit longer than that yeah love the sukin one so you're kind of fine with these products that when you are layering your skincare products you want to do it from your thinnest liquid to your heaviest liquid and go through in that kind of order when applying skincare to your skin um, you want to leave a few moments in between each product just to allow each product to sink into your skin right we'll go in for the evening skincare routine now so there's a few different products going on here i have got glyconic acid now this is new to my skincare routine this year and i'm never looking back because in the book that i recommended before it starts to split it into age group categories what you should be doing as you're going through the decades of doing your skincare so like teenage skincare in your 20s skincare in your 30s skincare now i'm going into my 30s this is a new product for me and now i'm in my third glycolic acid is a toner it removes the dead skin cells from the skin the reason you use this in the evening because you don't want to go out in the daylight with this product on your face not going to work too well it's also the same for a product i'm going to mention later on it removes all the dead skin cells from your skin and it allows to create a new layer for your moisturizers or your next products that you're going to pop onto your skin to sink in well to your skin so i use that along with a reusable like cotton pad just these like cotton pads that i can throw into the washing machine i found some that work really nicely and i'll link them down below afterwards you're going to go in with a serum so i have just i originally bought heaps and heaps of these ages ago because i found this one was working for me this is i don't know how to say it properly so i'll pop it on the screen if i will probably mispronounce this it's buckler choil booster serum now buckler choil is your plant-based version of retinol now if you're like me you find retinol a little bit intimidating 
Buckler Troil is pretty much exactly the same, just a plant based version. Or from what I've researched and what I found out, it is just as effective as retinol and it's really neat to use if you are just getting in to those kind of serums but don't want it to be too invasive or too intense on your skin. The thing is with some retinols, because they're vitamin A based, they can cause irritation and flakiness but I have found personally no problem with this and that might be a useful tip to know if you're heading into the world of retinols. I have used this for four years longer they don't do this brand anymore which was skin food however a buckler toilet that is on the market at the moment i just purchased this literally today is the bondi sands one now i can't tell you if it is good or not but it does have black buckler toilet in it's the same size 30 mils you'd use the same amount and i'm hoping it's going to work just as well as the previous one lastly applying thinnest to thickest in your products I will apply a night cream so again no rhyme and reason why I use this one it just uh, I just find it works really nicely for me again the Sukin I'm a fan of the ordinary and Sukin products they seem to work well and they're not too too expensive um yeah this is just nice and thick it makes my skin feel nourished for when I'm going to bed and it has some of these products these both these Sukin products have rosehip oil in them as well Rosehip oil is great for brightening the skin and reduces inflammation. I forgot to mention before, when I'm going out in the morning and throughout the day, I will put on a face sunscreen as well. Sunscreen is going to be your biggest saviour for looking after your skin no matter what age bracket you are in and you still need to put it on in the winter. So I have a bottle, I'm just constantly repurchasing it, I have it with every single other bit of my skincare routine so then I don't forget about it at all. I would recommend getting a face sunscreen though just because it's a little bit less greasy than your regular sunscreens that you put on your body. I'm liking this Bondi Sands one working nicely for me i've been using this for most of this year got this from the chemist warehouse and it has vitamin e in it as well so again great for nourishment of the skin a few other things that i will do throughout the week i will use a face mask i will go get the face mask that i use once a week it's from lush um it lasts me all year the one i get i also use this eco tan product um this happens to be a product you put on overnight and it takes about eight to ten hours to develop or work it's a tanning water so it's just the same kind of liquidiness as a toner you put it on last at night and then when you wake up in the morning you wash it off and then by that point it will have developed into a nice um a nice tan for your skin and i found just putting on some palmfuls popping it on your skin letting it sink make sure it's the last thing you put on before you go to bed and it develops into a nice a nice tan i always use this for tanning my face i only use this once a week because otherwise you will look like a dorito i only use this once a week um just because otherwise it'd be too much and this is the only thing i use to tan my face i don't use any other kind of like face tanning products i find this works really nicely and it looks pretty natural rather than artificial slapped on top of your face you get under. as well as doing that face tan water once a week before all of that i will also use this mask of magnanimity face mask as well it's from lush this tub of 315 grams will last me all year using it once a week it's this self oh self-preserving green skincare mask it is good for maintenance it's regular maintenance routine good during times of trouble it kind of has like a minty um scent or texture to it it is i think this is more of like a great preventative of avoiding spots yeah i would say so and my last product that i use once a week is this pink himalayan salt scrub i thought i wasn't recording then it's this pink himalayan salt scrub i've said the once a week products in a really weird order i would do the face mask first on a sunday evening then i'd go through and do my exfoliation then i would do my regular evening skincare routine that I mentioned before and chuck this on last so I said that in a really strange order but anyway yes this Himalayan salt scrub um, I think it's actually made for your body it is slightly in an invasive scrub so just go go gently don't go scrubbing your whole whole face off but I find it works nicely I love this product you can get it from farmers but if you live in New Plymouth, it is cheaper from Egmont Honey. Um, you'll know where that is if you live in in New Plymouth. Um, I think it's along Devon Street West, Egmont Honey. 
the store with um, some of like the eco-friendly products and obviously the honey. Um, I love this a lot. It's by it's eco by eco by Sonia Driver. I'll link it down below. This lasts me all year, especially because I'm using it more as a face scrub rather than a body scrub. I do like to use this a little bit before I put fake tan on as well. So the night before I want to put fake tan on, I will scrub with this allows the tan to stick to your skin a little bit a little bit better i love also using this every now and again just to do my cheeks when i want a little polish yes it gives you that gives you that glow anyway i hope you have found all my skincare products quite useful whether this is excessive i don't know i love skincare i like what it does for my skin and looking after it okay highly recommend this book I will link it also down below. Right, back to the vlog. I can't find anywhere to prop you. Um, no. The face mask that I'm using is this yellow one, and it's just from Mecca. Um, how good it is, I am not sure, but I do want the glow, so I'm going to just let it glow. Um, I'll tell you what I think about it, but as long as it gives me the glowy, glowy look I'm after, then I'm sure it'll be sure it'll be decent. Then. I am going to, so I'm not going to show you this, but I'm going to go wash off my fake tan that I have been using. This is the Aero, Bondi Sands Aerated Self Tanning One Hour Express one. I've really been liking this. I've just recently switched into the One Hour Express one because I used to have the one that you put on overnight and need like eight hours or so to develop. I have been loving this one. I popped this on as soon as I got up this morning, about eight this morning, and it's now about 11 a.m. So, yep says even though it's one hour express a one hour is a dark tan and a two to three hours is the darkest so yeah it's going to be pretty decently developed but that is what i'm after because i have quite a high neck dress you'll be able to see when it's on um so i felt the dark tan would be all right with that wow never never felt prettier right let the glow start to bloom also making sure i'm staying adequately hydrated throughout the day as well so i've gone for an english breakfast tea which is standard in my everyday life anyway love me some tea also going for a few um extra drinks just to have over the next few hours just to make sure they're in my system i love this i've been using this most of the year and it's absolutely fantastic um for adding well extra protein in the form of collagen into your body yeah, I love that it supports my joint and gut health as well. I just add a couple of teaspoons to a cup and then add a bit of boiling water. Um, for any of you that like um, like beef stock or gravy kind of flavours, that's exactly what it tastes like and it doesn't taste gross at all. You might think bone broth and think, mm, not that tasty. Actually, I really like this and I've especially been enjoying it in the winter. Nice and comforting. Also going to add this to a little bit of water as well. I, again, I've been using this most of the year too. Um, I'm a kind of person that eats a lot of spinach and I find that works really nicely for making sure I've got that balance of greens in my life. But um, I wanted to add more kale to my diet, but I don't particularly enjoy the taste of kale so I've been using this instead and you add a couple of teaspoons of this just to regular water that collagen stuff you had to add to boiling water you can just add this to regular water I mean it doesn't look great <laughs> when you have it but if you just add the teaspoons pop the water in to dissolve it drink it you know you've had it so no I really like that for and I feel I feel great after having it you know my body feels good after having these things so progress report i have showered i have moisturized i am now going to go ahead and tackle my hair so i already put some of this through my hair just as it's been drying i'm going to spray some of this over the top whilst i blow dry it and then for straightening as well because i want to have straight hair today and then i'll pop this in the ends of my hair and a little bit just to smooth it down once it's finished this is the ordinary argan oil yep quite like it keeps the hair nice and strong and just yeah Let's the flyaways be settled down a little bit. Um, I'll be using the Dyson to dry my hair. Um, if you are interested in getting a Dyson, I've had this since Christmas, um, but you don't want to spend the outrageous cost that these cost, um, if you know, you know. Um, yeah, wait till Christmas time or Black Friday, I guess, or maybe even Cyber Monday. Um, I got this at Christmas time and I managed to save about 400 bucks off regular retail price. So, little top tip there for you. I bought the attachments for the Dyson as well, just because I like using the hairbrush tool um, mainly when I'm drying it, so then it can be 
brushing and drying and straightening at the same time. This just in case I felt like, um, you know, air wrapping my hair. And this is one of the newer Dyson's ones, so you switch that dial back and forth so you can get the curl going different directions. If you had remembered or know the old Dyson air wrap, you had to have different barrels for different directions of the curl but it's much better they've got this upgraded one where you can change the direction yourself this tool on the top is actually so so cool and i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you or not but one way it flicks to one direction it flicks to a hair dryer so you can dry hair then you flick it the other way and you can use this tool just on the top of your head to kind of like tame the flyaways down and smooth your hair that is really cool um the reason i bought the other attachments in case i wanted to curl my hair um, was because my my straightener I've had this for years it's a GHD my favorite love a GHD straightener it does what it needs to do for straight hair every time but it's getting quite old and it's starting to glitch so yeah this was more of a backup situation right let's go ahead and see what we can do so I don't know how easy I'm going to actually be able to show you this, but when you twizzle the tool around the other way, it changes it from a hairdryer to a smoothing setting, and the air will come out of this section here, and you take it against, well, your pattern or wherever you want to, smooth it down, and it will smooth it down. I'm just showing you just to show you now. I will probably have straightened my hair and then do this, but I might forget. So let's pop this on. It's going to be very noisy. Anyway, um, hopefully you can kind of see how that's going. Um, yeah, nice smoothing smoothingness obviously my hair looks a bit crazy at the moment but um because i only blow dried it but yeah that's a great great little treat to the dyson so i'll just chat you through what i'm going to put on my face just because i've got to go through this quick smart because i am now running late and i thought i had heaps of time anyway so i've done my whole skincare routine i'm going to go ahead and put the nars Sheila Glow foundation on my skin next. I've loved this for years and years and years. It adds a really nice radiant glow to the skin. Highly recommend. Then I will go in with some probably some powder, just any shiny areas, and then a little bit of bronzer as well. I prefer this Benefit bronzer, the Hoola Light one. It's just a little bit of a lighter bronzy color than some of the other ones in this brand. This lasts me a long time. Um, some of you will know if you've watched for years and years that these are the same things that I've recommended over and over again um then i'll just go do something with my lids and say eyeballs but no um i'm just going to do this kind of like champagne -y, goldy color on my eyes that is from nars as well in shade orgasm pretty believe actually i'm pretty sure that was a mini highlighter and i just use that as an eye shadow i'm going to put this brownie color stuff probably on the outsides of my eyelids as well <laughs> Uh, this was a, this is quite old, but it's from Tiny Burr when she did a makeup line. Who remembered that? Who remembers that? Um, don't need that one at the moment. Then I'll pop some of the mascara on top, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is just in the mini version. Again, I've used it for years. Works good. I shouldn't need that because my eyebrows have just been done lately. And then I'll just go in with this Rimmel lipstick that is far too old for me to care to admit how old it is. So... Hopefully I don't come out in like some kind of like lip rash or something. Um, lastly, I'll just coat myself in the black opium from YSL. Again, loved it. Years and years. Highly recommend. Always a always a goodie, this one. Okay, I'm about to go out the door and I'll show you what I look like in a second. Just doing a quick what's in my bag. Sunglasses. Snacks, because it's going to be about six hours until we eat apparently. Lipstick. Elizabeth Arden lip balm. Favourite. All-time favourite. In the bag will probably be just regular bag things um my sunglass case this i'll need to get my id and also my fpos card and the room key this is just viva la juicy juicy couture spray perfume on the go all right i'll show you what i look like in a second by the way if you're wondering where the strap is from this is what the strap looks like on my bag from jinxie new zealand brand highly recommend great to attach to a detachable bag like this if you want to smarten up your bag a little bit more 
outfit reveal. This is what I'm looking like. Just last minute, really. Had to put it all together. I'm gonna put my coat on, and we're about to head out the door. See ya. Welcome to the next day. I just wanted to come on to end the vlog. Um, yes, it's the day after the wedding and the wedding was absolutely stunning. Beautiful ceremony, beautiful reception. I only got a couple of little clips from the uh, reception area. It was around this bay um, over near Clevedon Way if you're from Auckland and it was absolutely stunning. The weather could not have been better for a winter wedding. Um, a little bit chilly but I guess that's to be expected and oh, such a nice evening. Dinner was lamb or salmon and it was kind of like a pick and mix kind of style with the bowls being passed around the table um, delicious like broccoli stems potatoes food was exceptional absolutely had a wonderful time hope you've enjoyed this video for what it was um, I'll try and link everything down below I think there is going to be a lot to link down below in the description box so yeah go take a look at it if you would like to thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it for what it was make sure you give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!